I wanted to do a little bit of moxibustion with my students because moxibustion is from Chinese medicine and I'll talk a little bit about it as um, after I put them on and, and they start burning, but it's a really great way to uh, treat yourself and treat yourself with um, acupressure points. Uh, moxibustion is something that is often used when nothing else is working for a disorder. And uh, recently it's been used in China uh, to treat the virus that uh, we all have been faced with um, and affected by in one way or another. And so uh, there's actually some really great studies about the work that they're doing in China um, out of UCLA and out of some really good Chinese universities as well. So um, I wanna teach my students some really easy moxibustion points that will help to boost your immune system and will also help to calm anxiety, create relaxation, and uh, that will also give you a little more energy right now. So those are all good things and they're all really needed. So uh, all of my students got these little take home packets in your traditional Chinese medicine, um, cuppings, liniments, and moxibustion class. And um, so you have these little moxa packs and you should have six little stick on moxes that we're gonna use. And then you also got a moxa stick. So there's different ratios of moxibustion and uh, different amounts of time that the moxa has been cured. So this stick is like a 45 to one ratio. And this one is 35 to one. And um, this one I think is like a 50 to one. It's bigger uh, as well and just covers more area. Uh, but they go as low as like 15 to one. So the higher the number, uh, the better quality supposedly, and uh, just the more concentrated it is. Okay, so you guys have a pretty good grade. You guys have 35 to one. Okay. All right, and so we're gonna use these moxa combinations, but the points that I'm gonna have you treat today are on your feet and then also just on your lower legs. So it makes it pretty simple to treat. So we're going to take our little stick on moxa and we're gonna peel off the bottom of it. And our first point that we're gonna be working with is right here, this is liver three. So liver three is a really great point for reducing anxiety and for calming the spirit. All these points do that. So liver three, is going to be between the first and second toe, first and second uh, metatarsal. And then we're just going to take our finger and slide our finger up between that webbing. And uh, we'll come to kind of the, the junction where that webbing meets. And we're going to go ahead and just place that moxa right there and cover that whole area. Okay, the smoke is going to go down through this little cup and you'll start seeing it come out. All right. So this herb mugwort that is used, it is kind of, it's from the chrysanthemum family and it is a spongy wool type feeling to it. And they just compress it into these sticks. Uh, you could also buy just loose moxa and make your own cones with it. All right, so the next point is going to be stomach 36. And this point is called three, three mile lake. And if you, Feel just below your patella, so just below your kneecap with your thumb and your first finger right there, then you will be able to feel two depressions right through there. And if you go ahead and press into that, um, sometimes it's called calf's nose. So from right at that place, place your pointer finger and put all your knuckles over that tibia bone. And then where our little pinky is, we're gonna go just to the edge of that tibia and kind of feel around for a spot that might feel a little tender in there, okay? Mine's right there, so just lateral to that tibia. And that's gonna be stomach 36 point. This point is really, really helpful for boosting your energy. So we'll do this on both sides, okay? Go ahead and put it right there. And then the last point that we're gonna work with is spleen six. This is going to be um, 
four finger widths from your medial malleolus and it's going to go ahead it'll be right just posterior to the tibia so right when you get into the fleshy part and the musculature and um, the soleus muscle right there you're going to go ahead and just place that right there so four finger widths up and this is an amazing point for calming Shen. Shen is your spirit. And so it just calms everything. Um, all of these points to really help to, because they're so calming, they help with getting better sleep, being more rested, um, being able to think more clearly, and uh, with boosting your immunity. So we'll go ahead and do this on the other side. So from that medial malleolus, and we're gonna be just right behind that tibia on the medial side. Okay, so we've got all of our little moxa cones. Uh, we're gonna also use our moxa stick in just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and light all of these. So go ahead and light them. So just be careful, obviously, as you're lighting them. But these will burn down, and they're gonna take about 10 minutes to, to burn. You can also see if that one's going. Looks like that one might be going. There we go. That's a better flame. All right, and then we'll get this next one going. Obviously be careful with fire. This next one. Okay, and then as you're doing this, you're obviously going to watch them very carefully and uh, use awareness. Moxibustion is such a common, effective, and just really widely used treatment in China. All right, so then I've got all of those going. I'm just gonna kick back and relax here. And I'm gonna go ahead and light my Moxa stick. You can see it's lit. So I've got a little bit of red. Okay. And then I'm gonna work some of the conception vessel points. You can do this right over your skin. So I'm just gonna work from my navel and then uh, right under. So from about conception vessel four to conception vessel eight is right in your navel. And these are also um, in the same vein, they are for uh, calming the spirit, they, they have a lot of other uses too, but right now, the main thing that I want you guys to uh, learn is lo point location, and then that these really are good for calming the spirit, decreasing anxiety, reducing your stress, and for helping to improve your digestion, helping you to sleep better, helping you to wake up more rested with more energy. And so just kind of go down from your navel and then down about an inch and a half to two inches. I'll move my hand so that you guys can actually see it instead of blocking it. You wanna make sure that you keep the stick um, at least an inch away from your body. Um, and if you want, you could do little circles with it or little dabs. Just make sure that you're watching everything and uh, that you're aware that you, you do have things that are burning. So um, this is used all the time, many, many people, but uh, you do wanna be aware of that. Every once in a while you will need to go ahead and shake the ash off. 
your moxa stick. So moxa is also really used in China as something that promotes longevity, long healthy life. It's interesting because um, I've never smoked a cigarette ever in my life and um, I, I've never smoked marijuana either and uh, I I think that um, I've had some of my students that have been opposed to just the idea of having anything burning that's on the stick because of that association. And I certainly understand that. I've seen that um, in our culture a lot where it's hard to make that, that leap. You know, if you smell cigarette smoke and, uh, or another type of smoke, uh, then everything except for a campfire and um, maybe barbecue smells the same to you. And so um, I, I had a couple funny things that happened. I had uh, all my students, we will usually do this out in nature and we're very careful. We put down these tarps and we make sure that we clean everything up and that there's no fire danger. But we usually do a hike to a, a nice area and then we learn acupressure points and we learn moxibustion together. And a couple years ago, I got an email from somebody because our school van was in front of the site where we were at. And uh, the email that I got basically um, said, like, how dare we smoke pot <laughs> and, uh, and do that, you know, and uh, that if uh, clearly our massages weren't cutting it, you know, because we had to also smoke pot and that um, if my people, my people of massage therapists, uh, couldn't uh, relax from our massages, then clearly it proved that that wasn't cutting it. And so I thought it was really cute and I thought it was actually kind of sweet that this person emailed me. So I just responded back and I explained what moxibustion is and that it's a, a treatment and it's similar to burning sage or incense and that uh, these practices have been around for thousands of years as a way of purification and as a way of actually reducing the incense of uh, catching pathogens, you know, and so in, in decreasing sickness and that they're to promote health. And so the person uh, emailed me back and said they were sorry, but they uh, had just been in so many situations where marijuana had been the main feature and they saw it all the time. And whenever I hear those types of things, it's always a lesson to me, right? I always wonder, um, I'm, you know, of course human too. So it's always a check-in for me to be more mindful about the number of times that I think I'm seeing something that uh, I am just tuned into when I might actually be witnessing something other than what I thought I saw. So I think that's, that's really, I mean, it's really important to remember that and to make sure that we're using critical thinking instead of just going to the place of assuming we know. And then with cigarette smoking, I know that it has a, an emotional charge for so many people uh, because for sure it is unhealthy for people you know, to smoke tobacco, and for the most part, but uh, the studies show that, uh, but the villainizing others because of it is an interesting thing. I was in line at a ski lift years ago with my little kids, and there were some kids in front of us, super cute little kids, and there was a woman that was smoking quite a ways away from us, and uh, the little kids in front of us started yelling at her. Like we couldn't even smell her cigarette smoke. They started yelling at her. Um, You're gonna kill yourself. Smoking's bad. You're a bad person, you know? And uh, that was, it was just so interesting. It was so interesting to see how emotionally charged that is. But again, whenever we see those things, it's really good to look at the ways in which things are emotionally charged for us. And to find ways, again, to use more critical thinking. And to 
just be more patient with everyone, knowing that we all have these human minds that when we become highly emotional, our critical thinking shuts down. So doing these practices and finding ways to relax, to soften your spirit, soften your emotional reactions, critical thinking, health practices, all these things really, really help you to regain your full brain so you can think clearly. You know. So if you do get a chance, look up through UCLA the studies that were done on the treatments using traditional Chinese medicine in China. And look at the statistics on the recovery rates of people and also the number of cases that progress to more serious illness uh, compared to what we're experiencing here in the United States. And uh, if you look those up, you will find, in fact, I'll put a link to it in um, the comment area, but you'll also find the exact pressure points that they're using and the exact treatments that they're using. So they're using moxibustion, they're using gua sha, that they're calling scraping in the study. They are using acupuncture, they're using massage for the acupressure points, and they're using Chinese herbs. And specifically, they're using Chinese herbs for different uh, detoxification practices. And they've had some really amazing results. Um, and normally, a lot of the studies, you would need to subscribe to a journal or to a, a company that issues those studies and then you would need to pay for access to those studies. But during our current pandemic, um, everyone has access to uh, these studies that uh, are being published through PubMed. So I'll put the link and you can look it up. It's good stuff. Okay, so these are almost done. Um, some other points you can do is still along that conception vessel line, just mid chest, some points right in the chest. So right between your, uh, if you just follow your sternum, so like the sternal body all the way up to the manubrium, you just work along there too. So about 10 minutes for each section of points. And if you work along there, uh, these points are also to open up the chest, to promote healthy breathing, and uh, to help ease things like coughs and uh, to strengthen your immune system. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, when you are done, when you're done, these little ash things, they will uh, just come right off. So when they all turn white, it's safe to just have them come off. You can collect them and put them in the garbage, okay? And this moxa stick right here, the best way I think to extinguish it and also to preserve it is just to put it in a mason jar. This is kind of a bigger mason jar. You don't need one this big, but we're gonna go ahead and just deprive our moxa of oxygen and then we can use it more another day. Uh, one thing that you will want to do is uh, change your clothes and wash them and uh, probably you'll need to wash your hair and everything too. So, uh, or you will have the smell of moxibustion smoke on you. So if that's something that you don't want. Um, I typically don't like having that smell on me. So I do this right before bed, so nice and relaxing. And then I go ahead and uh, take a shower and wash my clothes. These stick on moxes, they just come right off and you'll see a little bit of the oil from the mugwort moxibustion from the herb. Herb's called mugwort. And you can go ahead and just kind of rub that into your skin. Take these off. Okay, liver three, spleen six stomach 36, and some conception vessel points, all for calming your spirit and increasing your energy, helping you feel rested and healthy, 
and helping to reduce stress and promote and boost your immune system. Great points right now.